As you showed in your 5800X3D review, the 5800X3D scales very poorly with faster RAM. Will large cache sizes take away the need for fast, low latency RAM, and will you do any further testing? I don't know if I would word it that way, honestly. I've seen a few people say, oh, the weak one weakness of the 5800X3D is the fact that it doesn't take advantage or it doesn't require low latency, high frequency memory. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. That's not how I would have looked at that or phrased it. I would have thought, wow, a real benefit of this CPU is that you don't need to throw expensive memory at it. Yeah. Like relatively inexpensive run of the mill memory will allow you to extract pretty much the performance shown in reviews, making that CPU significantly better value than the 1200K, which required like DDR, uh, premium DDR5 memory to even match it. So... Yeah, I don't agree with the wording of that question. I think a great strength of the 5800X3D is, is that it's less memory sensitive. Yeah, as opposed to scaling poorly, which is how it's phrased. Yeah, which it, it so. doesn't scale poorly. Yeah. So <laughs> I find that one a bit strange. I think maybe people are th hoping, you know, the performance shown is amazing. Now, if you pair it with high, really premium memory, it's even more amazing. I guess that's maybe where the disappointment's yep. creeping in. It's like, you know, what you're seeing is sort of what you get. There's not too much more. You can certainly tune timings. I'm sure you get a little bit more performance, but yeah, it's probably not as significant or definitely isn't as significant as what we've seen previously. So I guess I get that, but that's not the right way to look at it in my opinion. <laughs> Will you do any further testing? So I don't think I'm going to bother doing any memory scaling stuff because the day one review had... DDR4 3200CL14 versus DDR4 3800C, which is about as fast as you're going to be able to run realistically. Uh, CL16, very small difference between the two memory types there. So yep. we can't really show faster memory because you're not one-to-one -one with the fabric. No point going slower and there's no point showing anything in between. So the day one review was the memory scaling video.